Hello, I'm Pyle Saxena and I'm a Therapeutic Endoscopy Fellow at Johns Hopkins Hospital. I'm a co-author on our paper titled Novel Technique of Auto-Tunneling During Peroral Endoscopic Myotomy, or POEM. Dr. Moeen Kashab is the senior author on this paper. The POEM procedure was developed to reduce esophageal sphincter pressure in patients with achalasia. It is both technically challenging and time-consuming. The creation of an esophageal submucosal tunnel is a major and integral part of the procedure and dissection of the submucosal fibres is quite a lengthy task. Any methods or techniques that help simplify the steps associated with POEM may help proliferate its use. A new gel was recently developed by Cook Medical. It was initially introduced for submucosal injection and lift prior to endoscopic removal of lesions within the GI tract. During our exploratory experiments in the animal lab, we noticed that the gel also has tissue dissecting properties. And so in this article, we present our initial experience where the gel facilitated submucosal tunneling during POEM in pig's esophagus. The gel is viscous and made from a proprietary material which is hydrated and pre-filled in a syringe. The syringe is then attached to a delivery apparatus comprising of a 19 gauge needle attached to a pressure gauge. The gel is delivered at pressures of around 1,000 psi. The device has received regulatory clearance within the USA and Europe. We use the gel to perform POEM in five pigs. We started by creating a submucosal entry point using a saline and indigo carmine solution 15 centimetres proximal to the gastroesophageal junction. We then injected 10 to 15 mils of the gel into the submucosal space using the custom made injector apparatus provided by the manufacturer. A two centimetre longitudinal incision was then created at the entry point using the triangle tip knife. The gastroscope, which was fitted with an oblique cap, was then advanced into the submucosal space. A completely formed submucosal tunnel was noted in all five experiments. There were no submucosal fibres seen and we did not need to perform any further submucosal injection during any of the experiments. The gel was easily suctioned through the working channel of the endoscope and did not hinder visualisation during the procedure. We did not see any submucosal fibres, nor did we encounter any bleeding in any of our experiments. Interestingly, the gel did not track beyond the lower esophageal sphincter, which we feel was probably due to the narrow space in this area. We then continued with the myotomy in all five pigs. The circular muscle bundle was dissected, two centimetres distal to the mucosal entry point using the triangle tip knife with spray coagulation current. The division of the sphincter muscle was then continued until the endoscope passed through the narrowed segment at the level of the gastroesophageal junction. The myotomy was then extended a further two to three centimetres into the gastric cardia. The average procedure time, including the myotomy time, was 28 minutes, ranging from 20 to 39 minutes. So in summary, we have described our initial experience with the use of a novel gel, which facilitated submucosal tunneling during POEM in a safe and efficient manner. However, Optimal volume of the gel injectate still needs to be determined and further survival studies are needed in order to determine long-term safety of the gel.